crisis is not just hitting the All Progressive Congress, it is also deep in the People's Democratic Party as there are more splits in the party, in uh, the People's Democratic Party. You know, APC already have their own share of, you know, uh, a lot of issues taking themselves to court and also taking the caretaker committee chairman to court and all of that. So there's been a lot of issues lately amongst this party. But what is most important right here is what exactly is the problem? Is it because of the 2023 election? That means their house is not even in order. That is why, you know, the country is not in order. Because if APC were to be in order, I believe the country would be more organized. But everything is just, you know, going the other way and going south. But what exactly is the problem of the People's Democratic Party? Because I believe by now they should understand that they are the, you know, major opposition party to the all progressive congress and even before now their house must be in order not talking about defection and all of that those are personal choices but you know when you have to you know start taking issues out of the party and bringing into the public and so on and so forth you know what that could mean for you know your re-election into any position in the country unlike that of the apc they're in power so they can actually do a lot to retain power but as an opposition party there are things you must do to ensure that you take power but anyway let's see what goes on what is really happening in all of this and what are the issues what are the underlying issues that are causing all of this in the party more details guys but please stay tuned don't forget to like this video don't forget to share don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you can get updates and most importantly if you're here for the first time please ensure you subscribe to this channel all right dear friends without uh, further ado let us get right into the details of this report a crisis of confidence is brewing among leaders of the People's Democratic Party over the position of National Secretary which was zoned to the southeast it was gathered in Abuja on Monday that while some party leaders announced Senator Sam Ayawu from Imo State as the zone of consensus candidate, a party chieftain from Anambra State, Oke Omoaro, who is also contesting for the position, said claims of a consensus candidate was false. Both Anya Wan Omoaro were at PDP National Secretariat to submit their expression of interest in nomination forms. Anya Wu, who came in company of the Southeast PDP Zonal Chairman Ali Odafe, said he was elected as the consensus candidate by an overwhelming majority of party members in the zone. He denied allegations that he was being imposed on the party by interests outside of the southeast Anyawu said i am i can never be imposed by anybody because i am a moving machine for the party i have never lost an election in pdp even when it mattered most i have always won in imo state in the southeast anambra enugu imo abia and ebony there's no leader that does not know who i am I'm a very humble person. I'm very human and, of course, a pure and true loyal party member that everybody wants to listen to. There's no problem in the Southeast. I know even before my emergence as the National Secretary of the party, there are a lot of indications that there will be a tsunami in the next few weeks in Imo states. Those who are going to move out from the All Progressive Congress because of hearing my name as the National Secretary of the Party, I think it will disappoint. I, I think it will not disappoint. Asked if he was the choice of the River State Governor, yes, I'm wiki. Wiki, he said, I was nominated by consensus by governors and leaders of the Southeast. Southeast. Governor Wiki is not from the Southeast and couldn't have played a role in my emergence. However, Omora, who spoke to reporters after submitting his form, said claims of a consensus were untrue. He explained that contrary to what was being peddled, the position was micro-zoned to Anambra State, not Imo. 
Omoro said some people are branding that there was a consensus candidate. This is the bane of party in this is the bane of the party in this southeast. A situation where the party in its wisdom zoned offices to southeast and nobody was privy to any arrangement other than we hear that the office of the national secretary have been zoned to anambra auditor to imo state that's why i called that's why i and cid maduagbom and osita chidoka started consultations only for us to come to enugu on thursday and the zona chairman said that the governors will brief us governor ifai ogwani introduced governor a Okeze Ikbiazu and Ikbiazu read from a script and said that they changed their minds. They now put the secretary of the secretary to Imo State and they have already had a candidate in the person of Anyao and they called somebody from Anambra as the auditor. So on this basis, the people of Anambra totally reject that so called arrangement. Wow, this is getting deep and deep and deep. Nobody is agreeing that another person should occupy certain position. You know, this zoning thing has been the major issue of um, all parties recently. Even in the APC, the zoning, everyone is saying that uh, there's no way in the constitution where you have to zone, you know, precedence or any position to any, you know, uh, region that it is something that must be made open that if a particular party or a particular region has been ruling for god knows when that until the people elect and you know send the person away the party should not have that strength not to give people a chance than you know zoning because even that of this uh um, anambra and emo fight it is also because of zoning because they are saying that they've given their own party national secretary you know they've also zoned it to the southeast and others from other parts of the uh, region are saying that how can you just uh, do such a thing without informing us we do not have the information that it was zoned to the southeast and now you have even picked a, a national publicity secretary that that is not going to work so everyone is just taking they're just taking themselves to court over issues that they should be able to deal with among their parties but you know these things they are becoming selfish because they know that once they get in into any position they know the kind of money they'll be moving that is just a challenge because if you go to an office where you have to be serving as a civil servant and you're being paid your normal wages you would not rush to such such position saying that uh, you just want to occupy rather it would it will only be for those who are ready to do the work that will get the benefits anyway guys that is it thank you so much for staying tuned whatever you have to say please drop it in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up do have a pleasant time bye for now